With controversial energy and infrastructure projects on the horizon, police could be called in to help with some of the largest civil enforcements of modern times. Officers frequently work alongside specialists like the High Court Enforcement Group to ensure that evictions are conducted to the highest possible standards of accountability and professionalism. Nick Thatcher has more. OK, lads. The reason why we're here today is to enforce a High Court writ of possession. It's just after six in the morning and this team of enforcement officers are receiving a final briefing and risk assessment as they prepare to evict squatters from a former pub. It will be an unexpected wake-up call for those inside. Stand back for the door! Go on, dude. But although the building has been barricaded, officers gain entry quickly and safely. Within an hour, the eviction is completed and the property is repossessed. I'm told between 15 and 20 squatters were in the building, but a tremendous amount of preparation, operational planning and specialist skills has gone into making this another successful eviction. The High Court Enforcement Group is the largest independently and privately owned enforcement company in England and Wales and prides itself on its professional integrity, its ethical approach, as well as its ability to deliver effective enforcement solutions. Body-worn cameras film pictures like these for evidence gathering, but also to protect teams from allegations of impropriety or violence. We were told to stand back while the eviction took place for our own safety, but now it's over and you come into the building, you can see the state in which it's been left. With the squatters evicted, one of the enforcement officers whose identity we're protecting told me more about what his team discovered when they entered the building. They built it up like a fortress and upstairs there was urine in, in bottles and knives. The lads are trained very, very well, and we work as a team. The HCE group also works closely with the police on operations like these. On this occasion, the local force had been informed and did not need to attend. But the law known as posse comitatus means police officers are obliged legally to assist High Court enforcement officers if needed. The importance of the relationship is absolutely vital between the, um, the police and the High Court enforcement. The police actually have a difficult job because they need to sit on the fence for part of the, um, uh, the process, but also they're a requirement under the law for them to assist the High Court enforcement office. And so early planning and early group engagement is vital. And enforcement teams can often carry out the specialist work for which police officers are not directly trained for, including what's known as lock-ons, where protesters attach themselves to buildings or objects, which makes them immobile. Over the last 20 years, I guess we have uh, undertaken almost every um, problematic eviction in the country, from Manchester Airport on the, first, on the second runway, Honiton Bypass, uh, the Birmingham Northern Relief Road, where there was mass protest. The difficult parts of the protest is when you have uh, protesters at height, 60, 70 foot up a tree, or maybe 30 foot within a worm tunnel or a network of tunnels underground. Those are the difficult ones and that's where the real specialism needs to come to the fore. As well as partnership with the police, the HCE group is also the preferred partner of the Ministry of Defence and works to support landlords, businesses and solicitors. They are my first port of call if I'm contemplating obtaining an order for possession from court and think that it may be necessary to take enforcement action to ensure that it's carried out, uh, then I would be in touch with HC Group in advance of even obtaining the order for possession uh, so that they have resources ready uh, on standby so that they can uh, enforce the order as soon as it's made. Back at the pub, the job of securing the building can begin. The HCE group has never failed in getting land or property back for a client. And once again, it's a successful job completed safely.